You see, Richard III was my first real success. It was a long time ago, but it was the first time they took me seriously. So I've just got to try to get the old bastard up on his feet again. I need to be taken seriously once more before the man in the bright nightgown comes for me. <laughs> that is if my trusty prompter ever arrives, for the success of this hazardous enterprise rests not only on your approval, but on the shaky ability of an aging actor to remember his lines. Oh, and if perchance there are amongst you one or two charitable angels, the smallest gesture will not be unwelcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hiya, Mr. Jackson. Everything's okay. A-L-A-M-A-Z-O. Oh, what a gal. A real pipperoo. I'll make my bid for that freckle-faced kid. I'm hurrying to... I'm on a Michigan to... Have you ever seen Delirium Tremens? <laughs> Well, a, a colleague of mine, a bibulous fellow thespian, had the best DTs I've ever seen. You might say, Henry's bladder abhorred a vacuum. <coughs> Henry Malcolm Rogers, known in theater circles as the world's best worst actor, kicked the bucket last week at 62, but not from liquor. He died of what in New York is called a natural death. He was hit by a cab. <laughs> Hank drank a quart of whiskey a day for 40 years. They tried to cremate him, but he blew up and wrecked the place. <laughs> Dear Henry, the only man I ever knew with varicose veins in his eyeballs. 